Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning at verse 1 and ending at verse 11. This is the Amplified Version. The Introduction. Paul, an apostle, special messenger, personally chosen representative of Christ Jesus, the Messiah, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God which is at Corinth, and to all the saints, God's people, throughout Achaia, southern Greece, grace to you and peace, inner calm, and spiritual well-being, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, blessed, gratefully praised and adored, be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort who comforts and encourages us in every trouble so that we will be able to comfort and encourage those who are in any kind of trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For just as Christ's sufferings are ours in abundance as they overflow to his followers, so also our comfort, our reassurance, our encouragement, our consolation is abundant through Christ it is truly more than enough to endure what we must. But if we are troubled and distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. Or if we are comforted and encouraged, it is for your comfort, which works in you when you patiently endure the same sufferings which we experience. And our hope for you, our confident expectation of good for you, is firmly grounded, assured and unshaken, since we know that just as you share as partners in our sufferings, so also you share as partners in our comfort. For we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about our trouble in the West Coast province of Asia Minor, how we were utterly weighed down beyond our strength, so that we despaired even of life itself. Indeed, we felt within ourselves that we had received the sentence of death and were convinced that we would die. But this happened so that we would not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. He rescued us from so great, great a threat of death and will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope and he will again rescue us from danger and draw us near while you join in helping us by your prayers, then thanks will be given by many persons on our behalf for the gracious gift of deliverance granted to us through the prayers of many believers. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.